Hi sweeties, I am at Hobby Lobby looking for some fall decorating ideas and I'm going to do it on a budget keeping it under $40. I'm really looking at this buffalo check, the black and white. This is really the direction that I want to go with. Black and white, the natural woods, some orangey tones in there but very creamy orangey tones. So. This is right on the money already. I haven't even gotten in the store yet, so let me take my $40 on in this store and see what I can get. You think I can stick to my budget? Let's go find out. Please subscribe to Sweet Savant, hit that notification bell, and give me the thumbs up. I sure appreciate it. Now let's get to shopping. I'm looking for some things to style the shelves in my kitchen. You know where I always do my cooking videos in front of. I want to give that more of a fall look. So I want to get a few things that will have some big impact on camera. So I'm looking to mix uh, the purchases I find here today with what I already have at home. And I thought this would be a good start. And I think this is 40% off. Mm, these are pretty grateful, thankful, blessed, some more 40% off. I think all the fall decor is 40% off here at Hobby Lobby. Is everything always 40% off in Hobby Lobby? You know, I don't shop at Hobby Lobby that much. Um, this one just opened near me, so this is the first time I've been here. But um, some pretty cool stuff. I'm also looking for inspiration for some DIY projects while I'm here. That helps to keep the budget pretty low. Speaking of DIY, these little paint containers are inexpensive and it's an easy way to transform a piece that you may already have at home. Like I'm gonna grab one of these, think I'll go with Grateful, and I'm gonna paint it maybe black so it'll stand out. These are a great way to display plates, you know, upright so you can really see the pattern. I'm in the floral section now. Oh, I love these colors together. The dark purple, I mean, that's not really the way that we were going, but oh, I love that color so much. I might want to include it. And then this orange is 50% off. You know, I like to see that. They look so pretty together. Let's check out what's happening in the clearance section. I found this vase and I think it's really pretty. It'll go well with the color scheme I'm going with. That terracotta is a soft orangey color and it's got that natural cream, so I'm gonna take this home. So I'm back from Hobby Lobby with my stuff and I kept it under the $40 limit. Well, almost, okay. I cheated a little bit, just a little bit. Uh, the total came to $42.35 with tax. Without tax, it came to $39.30. So $39.30 without tax, I think is pretty good. Um, we're just gonna forget the tax. Like, just ignore the tax. I'm gonna pretend I'm a rich person and just ignore the taxes. Um, so this is what I got. Um, I really love this color. This pumpkin, sort of a soft, mossy gray look. So pretty. This, this is so heavy. It's some kind of, you're supposed to mount it on the wall, um, like maybe you put some dried flowers or something in there. This was from the clearance section. You can see it's got some damage there on the inside, but when you look at it straight on, you can't. You can't see any kind of damage there. Um, that fits in, I think, with the color scheme. Grateful. 
grateful. This is that paper, like stacked cardboard, and I'm going to paint it probably black so you can see it. So it'll stand out, and I'm gonna mount it on something. I don't know what I'm gonna mount it on, and I don't know, I don't know how I'm gonna mount it, but we shall see. Then I got this one piece of uh, floral greenery, and it's not much on its own, but I'm, I think I'm gonna try making like a small wreath out of it, kind of wire it together, and then maybe get some, some uh, stems or something from outside and make some kind of a wreath. Oh, whoops, I'll jam that back on. Pretend that didn't happen. And we got these two buffalo check plates. I think those are pretty. And I think they can fit. Yeah, they can fit up here. Maybe one here. I feel like I should have gotten three if that was more in the budget. Um, as they say, you're never supposed to use even numbers of things. But I didn't think of that when I was in the store. So I feel like I should have got three of these. But we're going to make it do what it do. And then this little plate that says thankful. I put the plate stand back because then that would have put me over the $40 limit. I'm, I'm sure I have something in here that I can uh, stand this up on. I'll find something. Actually, these look good together. Are they look good? So, I'm going to edit my shelves here take off everything that's not, you know, outside of the fall theme that I am going for. So most of this will come off. That little cutting board can stay. Most of this will probably go. This can stay. That's like a cream colored little teapot. So that can stay. And I'll go through what I have. Um, in the garage, any fall things I have in there. I'm sure I've got some pumpkins and leaves and other stuff. And then I'm going to redo these shelves, and you will see that in a later video. I uh, hope that you enjoyed this little shop along and come on back to see the finished shelf transformation. Thank you so much. Please subscribe, hit that notification bell, give me that thumbs up. And I will see you later. Have a delicious day. I'm thankful and grateful.